So um, he he plays energetically though. This bishop now comes to life. He puts it supporting f5. And um, I try and open this, this f file road myself. And he keeps it closed. Or he, he provokes me to keep it closed. I should have played the move bishop e4 here. I think I was worried about something about h3 and stuff. But there's no real problem here. Um, here's a variation I was looking at earlier. So I'll turn that rubber off. So takes, bishop takes knight h5, incredible. But once this f file pressure happens, now here just rook takes f1 and rook f1 would, would be good. But also Ribka's giving queen c1 is even more accurate. So a lot of horrible things would happen if I had opened the f file. But no, I, I didn't. I, I played quite passively. I played this continuation, allowing him to block my poor f pawn. So again, I've got a bit of work cut out for me, unfortunately. So rook e8, queen c3. I'm, I'm ganging up now on the e pawn, though. I double on that e pawn. And here, I find a good move, queen d2. Because I'm actually threatening now. Bishop takes f6 and bishop e4 without the bishop coming back to haunt me on, on one of these dark squares. Um, so his position starts to starts to collapse now. So bishop takes e4. It's, it's just too dangerous to take this pawn because the king's on the f-file. He plays g5, and I play a nice move hit now, which he thought was very nice. I wonder if you can spot it um, if I give you five seconds starting from now. All right, actually, I'm going to give you a, a strategic clue to guide your, your tactical um, awareness here. That black, in effect, by playing g5, black's weakened this diagonal a bit, and particularly f5. So how would you exert more pressure on f5 if I give you another five seconds with that thought in mind? Okay, I played the move queen c2, a quiet move, but um, very, very dangerous. If, if pawn takes or knight takes as bishop f5. He played actually bishop takes e4. If if bishop g6 says f5, trapping the bishop. But after bishop e4, I just play queen e4. And look at that queen. It's attacking h7. It's threatening queen e6. All sorts of things. And he played knight takes f4, which wasn't the best. This is now a forced mate. But after queen h7, queen takes h7. This bishop's now being used to stop g7. Being used for defence. So that was it. Queen takes h7 and he resigned. Let's have a look in overview and summary. So to break or not to break is an interesting question running through this game, especially with Black's continual provocation for me, you know, almost you know, to, to say, you know, play e5. One. And although e5 is good here, the follow-up e takes, e takes d6 is wrong. It's giving Black some potential counterplay on the c file. So he could have capitalized on this. Also note d5 is potentially weak once black plays a thematic b5 later because that's really undermining this pawn chain. So g4 is also potentially inviting f5. So I'm actually um, being quite provocative now myself. Um, but it just happens I was, I was a bit fortunate to spot this tactic now, knight g5. If I had retreated the knight, probably clearly you know, worse. So knight g5 was just winning the exchange on the spot. And after this, the, so I started to play a bit more um, quick and, and confident now because um, being the exchange up. But even so, I, I didn't need to let, allow black to close up the position with this e4. So some slight inaccuracies again. Um, I suppose chess comes down a lot to calculation. If you can calculate very well, you can get the timings of things much more accurate, of course, because you'll have the, the variations in your mind to back up, you know, as evidence for when to break or not to break, or when to do things, or not to do things. But here, at least, I found a, a good move finally, Queen C2, and and now Black's just collapsing. Um, I hope you enjoyed that game, and, and you've taken this idea that um, it's tricky actually to time breaks, and even when you do them, it's tricky to make sure you don't give the opponent roads into your position and close your own roads. And all that happens in this game, there's a lot of timing issues, a lot of, you know, road issues as well. And 
a lot of it is, as I say, I, th I think to do with precise calculation to get these things right. Comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.